Look, tell me about your character. I want to know all about them. My name, I mean, my name. <laughs> my name is Terry. Okay, yeah. My character's name is Aspen. They are one of the aliens that come and shake things up in uh, Seabrook in Zombies 3. Um, they are uh, non-binary, and uh, they, which is, I am non-binary as well, so we love authentic casting. Um, they are really childlike, you know, but not childish, big distinction. Like, they're very excitable, very curious about everything. Um, they, uh, like all the other aliens, essentially in our home planet, we suppress our emotions. And when we get to Seabrook, we're kind of feeling like, oh, when in Seabrook, let's experience emotions. So we kind of see how different emotions affect everyone. And for me, Aspen, Aspen kind of catches the love bug, and we kind of see how that plays out. I won't spoil it. I love that, but what does it mean, you know, for you to have a non-binary major character, you know, with Disney? What is, it's crazy yeah. to think of that. It is yeah. honestly unfathomable. I mean, it's fathomable now only because I have experienced it, but growing up, I watched Disney. I loved Disney. Um, I didn't even know what non-binary was, like, you know what I mean, the term, and I think hearing from the fans and seeing them be like, this means so much to me, I'm non-binary, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so incredible, and I think it's just, like, on a personal level, I'm just really honored, and like, ha or I'm really excited to be a part of this, but on a bigger level, I'm like, this is so much bigger than me, like, this is about the community, I'm so honored, I mean, I'm queer, I'm non-binary, I'm Asian, I'm so honored to have any level of representation for any of that community, you know, yeah. And I think in the way that it's done as well, it's not made a big deal, because exactly. it just happens to be, yeah. Exactly, and I feel like, obviously, it's really important to have stories that revolve around the specific struggles that come with being, you know, a, like a minority, but I think it's just as important to have stories that just kind of normalize it, like, don't make a big deal out of it, because I don't think we're only worth talking about when our, like, our struggle is our identity. Does that make sense? You know, like, it, I think it's really important to normalize it, and I think Zombies 3 does a great job of that. And then, you know, and then there are, you know, we have to be realistic, there are people that are like, what is non-binary, and there are people that, you know, struggling to wrap their heads around, but, um, I think seeing, not making a big deal and realizing, oh, they're just like me, yeah. it, it makes them realize exactly. that there is no difference. Exactly. And I think kind of you see that throughout all the, um, all the films, yeah. honestly, like that sort of theme of don't, you know, judge a person, book, whatever, by the, its character and like, you know, don't rob yourself of an opportunity to like maybe become a great friend with this person or, you know, I think you see that a lot in those films. Yeah, yeah. I'm for you, what advice do you have for people that are struggling with their identity and 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 are just really because it's a hard time and you're it's a it's a process that doesn't happen overnight. What advice do you have for people struggling? I think you know it's just like give yourself a lot of grace and give yourself a lot of patience because I think that it can be like a it's not like necessarily a straight line or linear and I don't think it's necessarily about one destination like it could change you know and it, you could evolve into yourself like I've felt at different times in my life like oh this is who I am and then I'm like oh this is who I am and I feel better and I think just try to surround yourself like by the people with people who like support you you know because I think my community has been the biggest like support for me you know and um, and if you you know, don't have that yet, know that it is coming and that there are people out there rooting for you for sure and that we like are here for you and you know, just like love you, yeah. yeah. And I think people, are, you know, it gives them so much hope to see how you, you're you happy, you're fulfilled, you're living your best life and, and even though there has been struggle, that can be the last of it. You can, yeah. Absolutely. I think their queer joy, non-binary joy, whatever, is so revolutionary. I think um, I'm absolutely, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not perfect or anything, I'm not living a perfect life, but I... I enjoy my life and I enjoy authenticity a lot and like it took me a bit to get there but I'm excited for anyone who's on the journey and that yeah. You have arrived! Yay! Well congratulations. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.